Hello, I'm Richard Woodruff, City Manager for the City of Jacksonville, and welcome to A Moment with the City Manager. Our guest today is Chief of Police Mike Yanero, and we're going to be talking about back-to-school safety. Chief, all those little ones are out there getting on school buses, getting excited about homework. What advice do you have to parents regarding keeping children safe? Well, you know, children are our most precious resource, so, um, you know, we really want to make sure that they're safe, and that's why that we're doubling patrols in the school zones. Uh, we're writing tickets for people that go over the speed limit because it is so easy for a child to dart out uh, to cross the street, especially when they are getting excited about getting to school, especially in these first few weeks. So we'll be out there in full force making sure that the school zones are safe. You know, that's, that's probably our number one concern over the next couple weeks because as these, the children have kind of forgotten about crossing and uh, listening to the crossing guard and those kinds of things, we're going to be out there to make sure that people aren't speeding through those zones. Now, a lot of our police officers, uh, X, Y, and others are out there every morning and have been there. Many of our citizens know them personally. But let's remind the public, what is the speed limit in a school zone? It's 25 miles an hour, and, it, and it'll be, there'll be lights flashing. Uh, officers or crossing guards are going to be present. So we, we encourage you, even when the school lights are not on, to be very, very cognizant of the children that are in those areas. You know, if, even if they're on the sidewalk, it doesn't take anything for them to drop something and to dart out into traffic. So in those areas, especially around the schools, be extremely, extremely careful. You know, one of the things that uh, we always know that this time of the year is children love backpacks and some of them want to carry extra things in their hands and so forth. But it's essential that you allow your children to make sure their hands are free. Encourage your children to use backpacks or some other device to carry their lunches or carry their books so that if something does happen, they have their, free, their hands free to assist them. Now, let's talk about just children walking to school as a group versus walking individually or parents escorting them. Well, I think it's really important first that children are supervised at all times, especially the smaller children. You know, if, if the parents should walk them to school, if they can't for some reason, that they walk in groups. The other thing I think that's really important is that we all remain vigilant. You know, suspicious people, people stopping to talk to kids, getting their tag number, reporting that to the police right away is so important. You know, I can't, I, I can't tell you how many times that uh, we've had certain situations where there was either kidnapping or some type of abuse and people saw the people involved in that and failed to get tag numbers, failed to report it, thought, hey, you know, this is kind of suspicious, maybe I should call the police, no, I don't want to bother them with it. Well, that's what we want that's to be bothered with. That's what we want to know because that helps us prevent crimes, you know, and um, it's been our push to be very proactive, so if when you're work, walking your kids to school and you see another kid up there and a car stops to talk to them, get that tag number, jot it down, and get it to us as quickly as possible. And we'll check it out. We'll make sure that everything was above board and that somebody wasn't trying to do something underhanded or illegal. Now let's also talk about the other, the big yellow bus. Now we've got literally hundreds of those throughout uh, Onslow County and here in the city. What are the regulations that motorists must follow regarding stopping or passing a big yellow bus? Well, if, if they are in the same roadway as that yellow bus, and it's not a divided roadway, so if it's a two-lane or a four-lane highway that's non-divided, then they are required to stop when that arm goes out. If there's a division, okay, if there's a, a turn lane or if there's a, a grassy median, then they don't need to. But I can tell you that this is a serious offense. The state of North Carolina, the judges all feel this is a serious offense. So if you pass a school bus, you know, there's a chance that you could lose your license. And, and that is a dangerous thing because, you know, a lot of the school bus crashes or the pedestrian injuries that I've seen with children in school buses have been because the children, child comes out of the school bus, goes around the front of the school bus and darts out and somebody tries to pass that school bus and hits that child. If you do that, 
you know, that, that's, that's very dangerous and it's also against the law and, you know, we'll prosecute you for that. Together we can make this a safe school year. Let's each pledge that we're going to obey the law, we're going to be very vigilant, and we're going to make our safety of our children job number one.